Hello guys, it is Duo Gaming Online. Uh, coming back from a long pause, and um, yeah, I'm sorry for that for not uploading videos for a long time, long, long time, because school has started, and no more shit. I have to study. I have to do my homework. I, you know, I really have to focus primarily on school. So I'm sorry about that, but just a quick video to uh, uh, mention something because I noticed a lot of people don't know how to do this. And this is download pirated uh, Windows games on Mac. I mean, they don't necessarily have to be pirated. It can be on a CD or something. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna open up Safari. And mine is pretty slow now, sorry about that. And um, you're gonna wanna type in wine bottler. You're gonna go to this website over here. I'm gonna put it in the link in the description, and you're gonna download the development or the stable one, whatever you like. It's the same thing. So once you download it, you're gonna get a wine bottler. Here, I'll show you. Wine. You're gonna get wine bottler and wine. So these two programs you're gonna need. So wine and uh, sorry, wine bottler. Uh, one bottler you don't need. That's for something else. But if you want to run uh, Windows programs on Mac, one is for you guys. So, for example, I have here Dishonored, and I have the EXE file, you know, which is not, of course, uh, able to run in a Mac. So yeah, you download this one. I'll put it in the description. It's very easy. You just have to install it. Go to the install uh, process, and then you find your EXE file or your executable. Um, that you would like to run. In this case, this doesn't work because I didn't download the whole thing. But once you launch it, you just press go. And I mean, this this doesn't work. But as you can see, it's a Windows themed stick thing. And yeah, also one more thing you can do. If it says like that, did you uh, that error message over here? There are two types of things: installation. If it says this thing, uh, wait. If it says like unable to create a directory, no problem, you can solve that. So there's one more thing you need to download. Then you need to download Wineskin. Wineskin Winery. And once you do with that, you click on it and it's gonna say waiting. And so you're gonna update the new you're gonna press on this little plus and you're gonna download the latest version of the wineskin. Once you do that, you're gonna say create create the blank new wrapper, you're gonna call it whatever. Uh, whatever your game is called, so you, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It has. It can be anything. In this case, whatever. And press OK, and it's gonna load. It's gonna give a little loading screen, <clears throat> and you're gonna wait a bit. You have to wait a bit, and hopefully it's gonna go soon. And it should come up with a pop-up message saying if you want to install the newest. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't for me. If it says something like install some shit, I don't know, and you just press cancel, it'll come up again. You just press cancel. And then you have to um, click view wrapper in a file. You can just close this up. You need, don't need it. You can take the file that we just created in the wine skin wine wrapper. Um, it's basically called a wrapper. And you're gonna show package contents. You're gonna go to drive C, program, oh, sorry, program files. And you're gonna drag um, all the files that are in the folder of your Windows game into that. When th once that is finished, basically you just have to go to uh, back back wine skin, just show package contents wine skin, advanced, and you have to uh, here is what it's gonna run from. So here it has nothing. What executable? So you're gonna find your executable. For me, it's setup.exe executable. And you're just gonna close it up, close it all up, and then this is gonna be your basically your game. You don't need to like go and choose setup EXE. This is your desktop shortcut, as they would say. So you just run it. In this case, uh, mine doesn't work, but uh, yours should work. And if you're having a problem of some sort, you can just press short package contents, uh, set screen options, full screen, oh, wait, override full screen done and then just done done uh, I promise you guys this will work and so you just press whatever and it's gonna launch it but yeah in this case it doesn't work for me this uh, 
game, Dishonored. I tried it, but I can show you with another example, no worries, guys. So, for example, here I have GDA San Andreas, and I have this GDA uh, dot wait yeah gda.sa.exe normally I wouldn't be able to open that but since I have a uh, one bottler just press it run directly in users Joni library application support .com. it'll be automatically just press go and the game will start automatically so that is guys how to um download one bottler or wine skin winery thing and how to use it so if you like the tutorial make sure to like it and uh, subscribe uh, as I said I'm really sorry for not posting videos uh, I hope there'll be more in the future of course I'll start uploading regularly again and yeah stay tuned tomorrow for Team Fortress 2 I am playing with my good friend uh, Ferenc he, he also has a channel I'll link it in the description below. And I'm playing also with Boss Tracker. He's also one of my good friends from school. And so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.